So, um, I'm testing out or really developing something in Uho 3D. It's like a 3D cross platform rendering game engine. So, iOS, iPhone, Android, Linux, PC. Um, I could do this at 64 bit. So, basically, the one through the software has has ton of features, um, file system, everything, and also it has several tools that comes in. Um, that's the importer or the importer package to ramp generator script compiler. It comes with an editor and also some other features, um, external features. Um, no, um, it does have a form for support if you have any questions. I could help if we have some. Also, um, it's a SDK, I think, or whatever. It does require OPGL 2.0. So, that's cool. Direct 3D9. Um, I won't be using the whole OPGL aspect. Um, so, I'm going to be converting this bad boy into Uho. So, first thing to know, um, if you're going to be doing this, um, what you might call it, um, If you're going to be doing this, um, you have to start the, where is it, um, where is it, You have to start the resource editor in the root directory where the text downloads. The reason is because, um, what you may call it, um, which is, what you may call it, what is it? Because it loads the resources, especially if you have a default one from that root directory. So, um, let me see. Alright, so I want to do this editor SH. Okay, so I started with no scene. Um, this is load scene, open scene. This is the scene. So basically, I have an I have a noid, local noid, terrain noid. Scene lights Noid Nord and light so this um I did this already. If you need to know how I'll show you now the problem I had with this texture was it didn't have no texture. Um, so, I had to do this. I 
I use a PNG textile software to create the map, height map. Then I exported it to Blender. Then I model painting with GIMP and Blender um, a texture. Then I copy the texture to the texture folder and then create a material XML format. So that's that. Um, that other. Now I need to get the material, which slows perfect. Um, so that's your texture. Um, the only thing is the map doesn't have a height seem like this doesn't have any height dimension so I can't put this halfway midpoint or if someone knows how to do it they could show me um, hierarchy aperture direction the light is pretty basic if I could find it Where's the light? light <sighs> and I'm gonna rotate this a little yeah and make it a little wider and that's there. This right here should not have specularity. So, mm, I don't know how to turn it off. So, the light here, I want to change the specularity to zero. I cool. So, that's the scene of the texture. Now, I guess that's the basics. Um, Okay, so oh, here yeah, should be water. And I have to. Oh my gosh, I know where to start. Okay, so that's it. One thing. Thing. The only thing I have problems with, it doesn't fully close. I don't know why. So I've been having to press Control C, or at least once. Okay, cool.